Now remember the uh, Merck's reticle on his screen where it shows where a spy is if he's running or whatnot. Well, an alarm snare can counteract that. I can do it behind him and he'll get a noise or um, motion on his his reticle wherever I shoot that. So if I shoot up here, it'll it'll give off, you know, sound and uh, motion up there. The other one is called a spy bullet. And you just you can use it in two different ways. You can do it in an area. So if I wanted to, for example, if I want to hack here and I want to know if he's coming through the door, I can put one maybe right there. And it, as soon as he gets near it, it'll show him on my radar in the upper left corner. So if he walks through, I'll start to see him on my radar. Now the other thing I can do is I can directly put it on him. So like I can shock a Merc and then spy bullet him so that he is always on radar until his uh, partner or his Merc partner uh, takes it off or whatnot. The uh, other equipment is the camo suit. I personally stopped using the camo suit because then you get to uh, play players who can hear it. And so they'll just flip on their uh, blue vision. Remember the EMF? It, you show up in EMF as well. And you hear the sound. It sounds on, and you can hear it go off too. The other equipment is the heartbeat sensor, which I also really like. You take out your gun, and it'll show them on radar. So it's like a spy bullet, except you carry it with you at all times. Now there are two ways you can take out your gun. You can take it out stealthily, which means you hold down the gun button, and you see there's no laser. And then you can take it out the regular way, and there's the laser. But that makes sound. It makes sound and it'll show up on the Merc's uh, screen. But once you get uh, relatively good at it, then you'll just kind of know where it is. Um, to get your objectives, you can neutralize the Merc, you can make him sleep, you can also break their neck. Basically you get on the lower part of a rail and if a Merc gets near, you press that grab button, which is shift, and it'll grab the Merc. Yes, exactly. So you have to be right behind a Merc. Um, you might want to be a little bit on the left side, it's easier to grab that way and you press your uh, grab button, your use button, which is I think I believe the default is shift and it'll grab him. Now after approximately 15 seconds he'll choke automatically if you do nothing but if you want to knock him unconscious you press the um, first mouse button. Now the reason they have this that option is because sometimes it's better to knock them unconscious as opposed to killing them outright because when they die then they respawn at certain places you might not want them to respawn and they have new equipment and um, everything's replenished. Okay, The other one is breaking their necks. You grab them and you just press the same button again, the shift button, and it'll break their neck. Now a big thing in, in this game is teamwork. So if, for example, if a merc knocks down my partner from far away you can go up to him, press the shift button to wake him up. And kind of a uh, yeah. See, that's chaos. but I can save my partner in different ways like that. Now what I didn't go over too much is the uh, flashbang which I just went uh, I just showed you. The flashbang is basically if he's in normal vision um, on his screen he won't be able to see anything. If he's in visions then he'll, st he'll still be able to see. It won't have much an effect. It will take him out of snipe though. But that's why we have chafe. So you combine chafe, takes into normal visions, and then flashbang, and he'll be uh, disoriented for a few seconds.
If you uh, shoot uh, Merc in the head, then his HUD is disabled and uh, he won't be able to use his visions, he won't be able to snipe, whatnot. Now we get to the healing, then I can go up to him and heal him. And then I'll have full health. So if he shot me, right here. Ow. See the little health bar? You can get healed. Now another basic thing for a spy is running up a wall, which you don't use uh, too often, I think. I, you know. Um, but you just go up to wall and you press the space. You run up to a wall and press the space and it'll automatically get into that. You can also climb up into a ceiling, but you have to keep pressing the forward button so that you actually get up there. A spy will most likely sneak in a ceiling, or I mean I usually like to, because they can hear you in a ceiling. You can make a, they can see your footsteps if you're not sneaking. And they can hear you walking around on it. Now certain maps have uh things like this box which is an kind of an added bonus and this button will make it drop so if a, a merc gets near it and you drop the box <laughs> okay now this is a map called River Mall and you know as you go along you'll just learn it but there are certain maps where you can go to a back or a place and you can hack things off these turn off the fans this turns off the waterfall. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. And I packed off the fans. So you see they're off. These are the fans that I just turned off. But if he were to turn the fans back on, if I were to walk into that, <laughs> I would die. Now this is the waterfall I turned off. It's dark because I turned it off. If you go into that vent there, it leads all the way to the back. Now, there are these cameras here. It just they these cameras just detect you. You can shoot them out though. If you go up to offices, offices. There's a camera here. There's a way to avoid cameras. You just wait for it to turn usually. Okay, something that a spy can also do is put his back to the wall. The default, I believe, is Z, and it makes him just flat. Now, this is another map called Death Tech, um, but we're just going to illustrate what it would be like to um, get through how a whole bunch of mines or how to locate them, disable them. Now, I can hear the proxy because it's beeping. I can also see that there's a mine here, so. My instinct if I'm in a hurry is Okay, as you play the game more there are little tricks to be continue being sneaky. For example, a little maneuver like it allows you to go fast and to uh not show up on a Merc's reticle because you're doing basically CQC. You're not actually running or standing or whatever, so in order to climb on the pipe, you just press the jump button, and then if you want to put your legs up, press space again. If you want to get down, press the C button, crouch, you're down again. You can also pull out your gun while you're on there. But you can also shoot out stuff, too. Another thing you can do is you can shoot that. And if a merc walks into it, he won't be able to see anything. Nothing will work. It's like a, it's as if you shot him in the head. And then he won't be able to see anything, and his entire screen will be white. Another thing you can do is you can wall jump. You press space, and then at a certain point, you press space again. He walks under. Ah, oh, I think that's it, right, guys? There's nothing else, right? Well, that pretty much concludes this uh, particular training video. Um, it's pretty much just the basics. The more you play, you know, the, there's a lot more stuff that you learn and maps and strategies and whatnot. But that's uh, that's pretty much the it for now. Yay!